Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be a current favorites video and I just wanted to share with you a couple things that I've been loving. Starting off with, I just have a bunch of skincare that I wanted to show you guys. I recently got this and I loved it. Uh, this is the Kale and Green Tea Spinach Vitamins Superfood Cleanser from Youth to the People. This is so amazing. It it doesn't dry out my face. I, I love the smell for some reason. It feels like they don't add any really weird chemicals that make your skin feel very irritated. And it's made in California. It says that it's for all skin types. So I am definitely gonna be repurchasing it in the near future when I finish it up. It's honestly the only cleanser I use. So the next product is my exfoliator. So I wanted to get an exfoliator that wasn't irritating my skin, something that wasn't too um, gritty. I wanted to try and I got the travel size of the Dermalogica Daily Micro Exfoliant. And it's this really tiny product. I think it was around $15. The bigger size I think is $50 or $30. Um, it's a little bit more expensive and I didn't know if I was gonna like it so I'm really glad they had travel size versions of this. And what it is, it's this little powder that comes out and you just add a couple drops of water. You mix it in with your fingers or your hands and then you exfoliate um, it onto your face but it does exfoliate the skin it's a little bit more gentler than any other um, exfoliator I've actually used and it actually feels like it's doing something unlike those other exfoliators that just don't feel like they're doing anything so I have serums that I want to talk about the first two I actually just got um, not too long ago I've been using it um, constantly but not regularly I use this Caudalie Paris vinyl pure serum infused anti-imperfections so it's blemish control infused infusion serum it was kind of expensive I know it's a little bit more expensive on Sephora so I actually bought this off of Amazon and I've been really liking it I use it whenever I have blemishes obviously because that's the whole purpose of it so I love using this for that and I have seen a difference in my skin I do feel like it nourishes those pimples and diminishes the redness of them obviously not instantly but I have to just continue to keep on using it so that I can have the same effect and then I have the Caudalie Vinyl Perfect um, Radiant Serum Complexion Correcting and this I'm assuming is to get rid of redness and I have noticed that but I'm not sure whether it was this product or this next product that I want to talk about I just use this one when I'm not breaking out what's very similar to the Radiant Serum to um, even out the skin tone, I would say is my Ole Hendrickson Truth Serum. So this is a tiny little travel size bottle, which was only $22. I think the original bottle is like, it's way bigger and it's, I think it's like $73 or something like that. This one I got because I know and I've heard that because it's vitamin C, it can um, actually deteriorate or kind of expire. The product can turn brown and becomes gross. It only lasts for a couple of months. Um, this says that it could last up to 12 months, so you know you have a whole year to use this up. I'm not sure when I got this, but I'm almost running out. I don't use it every day, and I could only imagine if I used it every day how much I would be using up. I do put this in my refrigerator just to keep it a little bit more fresh since it is vitamin C. This is the first thing I started using before the Caudalie and this has been really working for my skin. It does even out the skin tone. I have less redness on my face. It just makes my skin look brighter and more plumper and I'm going to definitely be repurchasing that. Outside of the serums, the same brand, Ole Hendrickson, I love to use this cold plung, plunge pore mask and it's this mask here. It's a very cooling mask and I love, I, I actually heard that it was cooling but I didn't know how it worked and it comes out blue and like the color is very appealing to me. I do feel like it gets rid of some of my texture on my skin. It's very refreshing especially for 
this really hot summer. Another product that I wanted to mention is um, sunscreen. So I had been using a sunscreen that was I think 30 SPF and I think that's like the minimum of SPF you should be using. I recently got this botanical sunscreen face uh, it's tinted and it has 50 SPF. This is a mineral lotion, non-greasy, antioxidant rich, UVA, UVB protection. And the water resistant on this is 80 minutes as well. So I really love this for my face. Um, it's really cheap. I got it at Ulta and I feel like it does everything I need. For a sunscreen that works really well and in the hot beaming sun at the beach, it's definitely something I'm just gonna repurchase all the time and I use that one daily. So it doesn't make me feel greasy like it says, it's non-greasy and it actually protects me from the sun. The two products that I've been repurchasing all the time, every single time that I run out of them is the first one. This is the No Strips by, from Biore. It's the original deep cleansing pore strips and there's 14 of them and oh my god, I honestly, I have like the horrible, horrible blackheads that come out on the tip of my nose and even right here on the outer edge and I feel like there's never anything that actually gets rid of them but these pore strips. These pore strips I get at Target and um, it's for a good amount of price. I think it's about $8 for 14 of them. Honestly, like the harder that your nose strip gets, you pull it off and it literally takes off every single, it's like disgusting but also satisfying at the same time to get rid of all your black heads these pore strips these have been a lifesaver for me they get rid of that nasty texture on my nose and yeah i really love them as you guys know another product that i've like been super obsessed with and i've had it for so many years and i think this is like these biore strips i think I, this is like my fourth box or fifth i'm not sure i've had them for a long time and this bottle, this Mario Badescu drying lotion has been a lifesaver. Every single time I have zit, I put this stuff on and it goes away. I got my aunt um, that came from Mexico on this. She literally had to buy it the next day and she did. So I think this is like my fifth bottle. I don't want to be dramatic here, but I have gotten so many of these that like... <laughs> I've raised up my rewards on Ulta and Sephora for buying this product right here. Based on makeup, I wanted to start off with this Milk Bronzer. This is the bronzer in the color Baked. And this is only around 30 something dollars and for the amount that comes in here, it's ridiculous. I figured I'd try this out and so far I've really loved it and I feel like this is gonna last me forever. And it lasts up to a year. Another bronzer that I love as well, based on the price, but not really the color. The color is more of a bronzy look, and I feel like the Milk Makeup one is more of a contour color. This one, um, obviously I'm gonna get a different color, but is only $3. So compared to $30 or like $40, $42 that Nude Sticks has. Oh, sorry, um, let me explain what this is. Um, this is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Makeup Stick Contour. And it's cruelty free, which is amazing. Since I was talking about Nude Sticks, um, I actually purchased the Nude Sticks Nudes Bloom in Tiger Lily Queen. This does last up to a year and it actually does come with a little brush at the end so if you want to take it with you anywhere you can always just use the brush. If you're not like a really big blush fan you can always control how much blush you apply on your cheeks because it's a very buildable or like lightweight kind of product. You don't feel it on your cheeks, it doesn't feel super heavy. This is a very bright coral shade that I use on top of a light colored, um, like a more orangey blush. The Sam Cream Stick Blusher. This I actually bought from YesStyle. Oh, actually, you know what? They're basically the same thing. This this one though was way cheaper i think it was around eight dollars and this tiger lily one was 42 dollars 32 dollars around there wow for the price i mean it's both of them are my favorite i actually use them both together i'm actually wearing them right now i'm not sure you can tell with this quality of camera but i've been really loving both of them regardless of the price 
I just feel like if I find the shade of the other one in this style, then I feel like it's unnecessary to buy the nude sticks one. Another um, product that is kind of based on makeup, but it's lashes. It's these Ardell Foam Mink lashes in the number 814. These are amazing. I'm actually wearing them right now. I don't actually put the whole band on my eyes. I actually cut them in half and then add them to the corner and the middle portion of my eyes and it actually thickens my lashes it makes it look like I have longer and thicker lashes and fuller lashes than um, I actually do I think those were around $15 just because it does come with two pairs of lashes and I got those at Ulta one of the last products is the Laneige special care lips sleeping mask in the flavor berry I'm not sure if it's flavor or just the kind they have in in berry um, basically this is a sleeping mask for your lips if you have very dry lips this will moisturize them to the fullest I actually got this from yes style as well I know you could get this at Sephora but I feel like Yes, I always has like 60% off or 80% off. I think you get a better deal there than at Sephora. The last thing that I wanted to mention is these neutral light hair, skin, and nail health pills. So this, these are biotin pills. Um, these help your hair and skin and nails and basically helps your hair grow. I don't know if you guys remember um, from just a couple of videos ago how short my hair was. It was literally up to here and now it's up to here. Honestly, these really work. I try to take them every single day but I use them like once in a while just because I do forget. I'm like ex super excited because I want my hair to grow even longer than this. Um, not as long as I used to have it, but somewhat of that length. So I just wanted to end this video and I wanted to say thank you so much for continuing to watch my videos. Thank you for still being subscribed to my channel. I know I haven't posted in a really long time and I'm really glad that you guys are still watching and still sticking around whoever is still watching. Thank you. I hope you guys liked this video. I hope this actually had you guys been interested in trying any of these products that have been working for me and that I've been loving. There's not much else to say but thank you and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video.